What's up, y'all? This is Henny. Listen, today I want to talk to you about something special, man. I want to talk to y'all about uh, going from making a track that you didn't know exactly what was going to happen to it back in 2017 to Platinum Plaques. Let me show you how I got here. Let's talk about it right now. Let's go! <laughs> So for all of those who do not know why I started this channel back in the late part of 2016 was based off of the fact of me thinking uh, about using an iPad as a professional device, trying to figure out exactly what I could do with it, you know, just seeing where it would go. So I started my first video with an idea called Adventures in Beat Making, basically showing everybody that you can make professional music using an iPad. And that was five years ago. It was a way for me to show the apps, show the ways that I was using, show all the peripherals, the MIDI keyboard, the headphones, whatever I was doing to show that it was possible to be able to make music professionally on this device that most people just wrote off as a content viewing device. So back in 2017, I did Adventures in Beat Making, and every week at Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I would drop a video, and I did that for 52 weeks. And I did it in a way that it was short and precise because I knew that Instagram at that moment had just offered the ability to do 60-second clips on your feed. And, you know, IG stories weren't even really a thing back then. And so I was really focused on the feed and what you could do. And so with 60 seconds, let's make some content. After doing it for 52 weeks, I wasn't sure where would the music go? Where was my career going? I didn't know anything. But it was episode 23 that started to show me what I did was right for what I was doing. Let me show you that. A lot of people have been asking me just how far you can get making music on the iPad. Well, today I'm about to show you. <laughs> I got some friends along with me, and they're going to jump in the ride, literally. Let's go. Oh, am I plugging into that? Yeah. Ain't no future in your fronting. I'm going to show you the real. Get funky then. <laughs> Let's keep adding layers, man. Edit, 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 send. So usually when I recorded these videos, specifically with other collaborators, I wanted to make sure that we had as many ideas as possible when we were creating and collaborating. And it wasn't until the very end of that video, if you watched up until the end of that video, which caught the real magic of this episode. It was the making of Dreamville's Sacrifices, which featured J. Cole, Smino, Saba, Earth Game, produced by yours truly and my cousin, Groove. Oh, bro, that shit groovy. Hey. For me, creating that idea back in 2017 and then giving it to my cousin Groove, who was actually building a relationship with Dreamville back in 2018, 2019. And for him to continuously take the ideas that I had as a young producer going and doing his thing and creating his magic at the Dreamville camp back in early 2019, it was just magic and it came together crazy. Now, after a Grammy nominated album and millions and millions of streams on this actual project, I can clearly say that you can do professional work on an iPad 
And that was the goal. The goal for me was to show that it was possible. That's it, to show it was possible. To show people that if you start with something as crazy as it seems, if you travel that journey long enough, you're going to see some great, great things happen. And I'm saying all this based off of this moment that just happened an hour and a half ago. Let me roll that clip. Birthday gift, but you ain't got no game for quick. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Got a plan, <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Wow. wow, man, I just remember you saying like you never got a platinum plaque. I think you said it to a class or something. I have. I was like, yo, once I figured out that you had to buy them off, I was like, ah, oh, I'm not doing that. But you deserve. Wow, that's crazy. Thank you, brother. So that was my business partner, Kennar Garrett KG. You know, we started Westview Drive together. We both went to Morehouse College together. We're both professors together, as well as creating our first app, House Mark One, together as well, which went number one in the app store immediately. It was crazy. It was such a blessing, right? That was him giving me my first plaque. And I'll tell you what's crazy about this. I've been in the music industry over 20 years. And when I saw people getting gifted plaques, gold plaques, platinum plaques, billboard plaques, whatever it was, I was just hoping for the day that, you know, somebody would be like, hey, I got this plaque for you, whatever. But I realized that a lot of people actually pay for plaques. As long as you are a part of the project, as long as you made sure that, you know, you had credits on the project or whatever, you already had the availability to get a plaque based off of the sales or whatever that is related with the RIAA. And I just, I didn't care. I didn't, I didn't need it. Honestly, I didn't care to just grab all my plaques. I have a lot of plaques that I could purchase and pay for and put on my walls. And I just was never that type of guy. I never cared so much about having my wall plastered around with all these plaques of what daddy did, what, you know, hubby did, whatever it was to show people that I was worth what I was worth. My biggest worth is in giving. My biggest worth is in making sure others that come after me do it better than I did. And so for me, 20 years later, receiving my first platinum plaque after, you know, 15, 16, 17 versions, I'm sitting here saying thank you for everybody. I'm very close to 100,000 subscribers, which will inevitably give me another plaque to show that, uh, yes, I created and did that as well. I just wanted to come and tell you guys this. Don't get so caught up in the start because the start is the start. That is just what happens. I know it's the hardest thing for you to do. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, just start and continuously put the strokes on the wall as if you're painting a canvas. Every little stroke matters. Regardless if it was an amazing little stroke or a nice brush stroke, whatever it is, a lot of it is just in doing it over and over and over and getting so used to painting that way, little stroke by stroke, that you don't even worry. You, sometimes you don't even look back at all the things that you've done and all the strokes that you've, you know, painted. It's really all about the journey. And so for me, 20 years later, receiving my first platinum plaque, it's amazing. It's an amazing experience. And I want to say a huge thank you to my brother, Kennard Garrett, and my wife for uh, surprising me out of nowhere um, because it wasn't something that I was looking for. It wasn't something that I was after. I didn't necessarily feel like I needed it on my wall, but a plaque is a plaque. And it just shows you that, yes, you have a journey and you're on it and you're going to do what you need to do to be successful. Keep going. Keep doing what you need to do to strive for the goals that you have set for yourself. I think it's even more awesome for me, the fact that this happened the way that it did. And I think everybody who watches this channel, I think everybody who has been a part of this community, and I say it over and over again, um, the community is everything in YouTube. Building relationships with people that you don't know is an amazing, amazing, immersive experience. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the story of going from starting my YouTube channel to receiving this plaque when I'm on the cusp of actually hitting that first silver play button. This is, this is you know, it's only God writing this at this point. So just I just want to let y'all know that, man, everything is possible and um, continue on your journey. You know, this is not a flex. This is not something that's just sitting here that I just wanted to, you know, just flex on y'all real quick. It was more so to just say that it is possible. And that was why I started this channel. 
I love y'all and I thank you all for everything that you've given to me because more importantly, I become a better man because I started this channel and that's real talk. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and I will catch you in the next one. Hit him out!